Gregor Dimitrov Dimitrov, born May 16, 1991, is a Bulgarian professional tennis player. He has been ranked as high as world number three in singles by the Association of Tennis Professionals, ATP, which he first achieved on November 20, 2017, making him the highest-ranked Bulgarian player in history. Dimitrov achieved the ranking after winning the biggest title of his career at the season-ending ATP Finals. He has won nine ATP Tour singles titles to date. Prior to his professional career, Dimitrov enjoyed a successful junior career in which he reached the world number one ranking and won consecutive major boys singles titles at the 2008 Wimbledon Championships and the 2008 U.S. Open. In October 2013 at the Stockholm Open, Dimitrov became the first Bulgarian man to win an ATP Tour singles title. As of the 2024 Australian Open, he is the male player with the longest active streak of consecutive Grand Slam appearances, at 52. Dimitrov is the first, and only, Bulgarian male tennis player to reach a final in doubles, in 2011, and to reach the fourth round or better at a major in singles. Dimitrov is the first Bulgarian to qualify for the ATP Finals, which he won in 2017, and to win a Masters title the same year in Cincinnati. Dimitrov has also won more prize money than any other Bulgarian tennis player, being the only male Bulgarian player to reach US$1 M, and on November 6, 2023 became the 19th male tennis player ever to win $25 M. He won the Bulgarian Sportsperson of the Year Award in 2014 and 2017, the first and second time a tennis player has won the award since its creation in 1958 and the Balkan Athlete of the Year Award in 2017. Early life Gregor Dimitrov was born in Heskovo to father Dimitar, a tennis coach, and mother Maria, a sports teacher and former volleyball player. In 1991, he first held a tennis racket, given to him by his mother, at the age of three, and when he was five he began to play daily. In his early years his father served as his coach, but after he proved his talent in the tournaments for juniors, he made it clear that he would have to develop in other conditions. At the age of 16, Dimitrov turned professional. In 2007, Dimitrov joined the Academy Sanchez Casal, where he was further trained under the leadership of Emilio Sanchez and Pato Alvarez. Since March 2009 Dimitrov trained in Paris, France, where he joined Patrick Muratoglu's tennis academy and spent the next four seasons there and he appointed Patrick Muratoglu as coach for 2012. Personal life Dimitrov began dating Maria Sharapova in late 2012. He and Sharapova only confirmed their relationship after the 2013 Madrid Open where the Bulgarian managed his first win against a world number one, beating Novak Djokovic. Sharapova and Dimitrov separated in July 2015. At the end of 2015, he started discreetly dating American singer Nicole Scherzinger, the lead vocalist of the Pussycat Dolls. Their romantic relationship ended in 2019. In addition to his native Bulgarian, he speaks English and says his main interests are sports, cars, computers and watches. 16. Early in his career he was given the nickname Baby Fed for his stylish play and on-court talent being similar to that of Roger Federer. Junior career he claimed his first major junior cup, the U14 European title, at the age of 14, in 2006. He won the Orange Bowl U16 Boys Singles and was later named the Eddie Her International 2007 Rising Star. In 2007, Dimitrov was the finalist at the Orange Bowl U18 Boys Singles losing to Ricardo's Barankis of Lithuania. With Vasek Pospisil, he reached the U.S. Open doubles final falling to Jonathan Isarek and Jerome Manzarillo. Dimitrov as junior Wimbledon champion for 2008 he began the 2008 Grand Slam season with a quarterfinal showing at the French Open, losing to Poland's Jerzy Janowicz in three sets. However he went on to win Wimbledon after defeating Henri Kontinen of Finland in the final. He won the title without dropping a set despite playing with a shoulder injury throughout the tournament. The victory saw him join former junior champions Roger Federer and Stefan Edberg and guaranteed him a wildcard entry into the 2009 Wimbledon men's draw. His success continued at the U.S. Open, which he won on September 7, defeating American qualifier Devin Britton in two sets. On his way to the title he also defeated top seed Young Sung-hwa of Taiwan in the semifinals. 
After the tournament Dimitrov announced that he was ending his junior career and focusing on improving his ADP ranking, on September 8, 2008, he became junior world number one overtaking Yang Sunghua. He closed at number three of the junior ranking that year. Dimitrov compiled a singles win-loss record of 74-28 as a junior and 42-20 in doubles. 2008 ATP Debut In 2008, Dimitrov began frequent participation in men's events. His first title came on clay at a Futures tournament in Barcelona. His first ATP-level match was at the Ordina Open where he lost to Igor Andreev in straight sets. After his junior U.S. Open title he won back-to-back -back Futures tournaments in Madrid on hard court and rose 300 places to career high ranking of 477. The achievement attracted enough attention to earn him a wild card into the Mutua Madrilena Madrid Open qualifying draw where he lost to then number 64, Florence Serra of France. After being granted another wild card to the Davidoff Swiss indoors qualifying draw and defeated number 122, Yuri Vanek, in three sets in the first round for his first ADP level win, before losing to Julian Reister. 2009, first ADP match win. Grand Slam debut in 2009, he was granted a wild card to the main draw of the ABN AMRO World Tennis Tournament and scored an upset over then world number 23, Tomas Burdick, earning his first ADP main draw win. In the second round, he faced world number one, Rafael Nadal, and lost in three sets. He was granted a wild card to the main draw of the Open 13, but lost to world number eight, Gillis Simon, in the first round, despite serving for the match at ninth game of the third set. He then completed two victories in the Davis Cup against Hungary. He lost to Denai Udomchok in straight sets in the second round of the SAT Bangkok Open. For first round exits in challengers followed. He then reached the quarterfinals after qualifying of two successive challengers at the Trofeo Paulo Carazzi and Aegon Trophy. He reached the second round of the Aegon Championships after defeating Ivan Navarro, but lost in two tiebreaks to Gillis Simon. On his Grand Slam debut at the Wimbledon where he got a wild card as the 2008 Juniors Champion, he won the first set of his first-round match against Igor Kunitsin but then suffered a knee injury. Despite this he attempted to continue but lost the following 10 games before he retired. He was granted a wild card to the main draw of the Swedish Open but lost in the first round to Guillermo Conis. He reached the quarterfinals of the Challenger Open Castillo y Leon losing out in three sets to Marcel Granollers. He then lost in the second round to Martin Fisher in straight sets at the American Express, Ted Open. As the 2008 winner of the U.S. Open Boys Tournament he was granted a wild card for the U.S. Open Qualification Tournament. He won his first round match against Tobias Camp but in the second round lost to the number one seed of the qualification, Thomas Bellucci. Dimitrov won his first doubles challenger title at the ATP Challenger Trophy with Timuraz Gabashvili beating Jan Minar and Lucas Russell. He then received a wild card at the IF Stockholm Open but lost in the first round to Jarko Niminen. 2010, Top 250 Debut, First Challenger Title Dimitrov started the season with a quarterfinal finish at a challenger event of Internationox de Nouvelle Galetini. He then attempted to qualify for the Australian Open, but lost in the first round to Robert Kendrick in three sets. Dimitrov in 2010 he bounced back a week later by qualifying at the Honolulu Challenger, but lost to Donald Young in the second round. Dimitrov then participated for Bulgaria in the Davis Cup, claiming all three wins in a 3-2 victory over Monaco. Following the Davis Cup tie, Dimitrov had a number of early losses in various challenger tournaments. Dimitrov won his first ADP Tour match of the year on the grass courts of the Aegon Championships in London. He beat Alex Bogdanovich before losing to world number 31, Feliciano Lopez, in the second round. He then had a great run in the Marburg Open, a challenger event, where he came through qualifying to reach the semifinals where he lost out to Simone Vagnazzi. Dimitrov again had a number of disappointing losses in challenger events and another Davis Cup tie. Dimitrov then participated in four Futures tournaments, posting impressive results, including two tournament victories in Germany and another in Spain. 
Dimitrov gained enough points to enter the world's top 250 for the first time in his career. His recent good form translated to the Challenger Tour, capturing three consecutive titles, the first coming at the IPP Trophy, defeating Pablo Andujar in three sets. And back-to-back -back titles at the Bangkok Open, where he beat former top-20 player Dmitry Tursunov in the quarterfinals and Konstantin Kravchik in the final, and at the Bangkok Open 2 defeating Alexander Kudryavtsev, he made an early exit in his first challenger after a two-week break but bounced back a week later beating top 100 player Lucas Lacco and world number 32 Michael Lodra on the way to the final of the Open d'Orleans. In the final, Dimitrov lost to Nicolas Mahut in a third-set tiebreak. After two disappointing challenger tournaments in Germany, in which Dimitrov suffered first-round exits, he reached the semifinals of IPP Open, his last tournament of the year. There he played Lithuanian youngster Ricardas Barankis. After the loss of a tight first set in a tiebreak, Dimitrov dominated the second set but was dominated in turn by Barankis in a third set loss. In an off-court incident after the match, Dimitrov pushed the chair umpire with both hands and swore at him because he felt he was treated unfairly after some close calls in the first set tiebreak. Dimitrov was fined 2,000 euros. By reaching the semifinals in Helsinki, Dimitrov reached his best-ever ATP World Ranking of number 106, 2011, Top 100 debut His first tournament of the year was the Australian Open where he advanced through the qualifying rounds with the loss of just one set. He defeated world number 38, Andrei Galyabev, to advance for the first time to the second round of a Grand Slam tournament where he lost to 19th seed Stanislas Wawrinka. Nonetheless, Dimitrov achieved his top ever ATP ranking ending January at world number 85. Thus, he became the top ranked Bulgarian male tennis player of all time. Dimitrov then qualified for the ABN Amaro World Tennis Tournament but lost to 8th seed Joe Wilfried Sanga in the first round in two sets. He then lost in the first rounds of the Open 13 and Dubai Tennis Championships to Dmitry Tursunov and Richard Gasquet, respectively. Dimitrov then won the challenger DCNS de Cherbourg defeating defending champion and number 2 seed Nicolas Mahut in the final. He then qualified for the Sony Ericsson Open losing to Sergei Stokowski. Dimitrov became the first Bulgarian man ever to be seeded at an ATP World Tour tournament being seeded 8th at the U.S. Clay Court Championships but lost in the second round to Timuraz Gabashvili. At the Barcelona Open Banco Sabadell, he lost in the first round to Juan Monaco. He reached his first quarter-final in an ATP tournament at the BMW Open after defeating Marcos Bagdadis but lost to Florian Mayer in three sets. Dimitrov lost in the first round of the French Open to Jeremy Chardy. Dimitrov then advanced to his second ATP quarterfinals at the Aegon International after he defeated sixth-seeded Kevin Anderson in the second round, but lost in the third round to third-seed Yanko Tipsarevic. He also competed in the doubles with Andreas Seppi and became the first Bulgarian man ever to reach a doubles final at an ATP tournament, they lost to Jonathan Ehrlich and Andy Ram. At Wimbledon, he lost a memorable second-round match to Joe Wilfried Sanga in a tight four-setter. He then reached the second rounds of the Campbell's Hall of Fame Tennis Championships and Farmers Classic, losing to Americans Denis Kudla and Alex Bogomolov Jr. at the Atlanta Tennis Championships, he fell to Rajiv Ram in the first round. At the Western and Southern Open Dimitrov defeated Marcel Illen in the first round, but lost to world number 6, David Ferrer, in the second round in three sets. 29, he also reached the third round of the Winston-Salem Open being defeated by Alexander Dolgopolov in a third-set tiebreak. At the U.S. Open Dimitrov was defeated by Gail Monfils in the first round. At the Open de Moselle, Dimitrov was beaten in 53 minutes by qualifier Igor Sijlin in the first round. 31, after that, in the Thailand Open, Dimitrov beat Ivan Dodig and Simone Bolelli before falling to Andy Murray in the quarterfinals in two sets. In his next tournament, at the China Open, he lost once again to top-seeded Joe Wilfried Sanga in the first round. 
At Shanghai Rolex Masters Dimitrov beat Marcel Illand in the first round but was defeated by Andy Roddick in the second round in two tight sets. At the IF Stockholm Open Dimitrov beat Ryan Sweeting and won Ignacio Chala before losing to Milos Raonic in the quarterfinals. He ended the year ranked number 76. 2012, first top 10 win, top 50 year end Dimitrov started his 2012 season by competing at the Hopman Cup alongside Zatanna Peronkova. Their team was defeated by the Czech Republic 1-2, after they won a match in mixed doubles but lost their singles matches. Then, their team defeated Denmark 2-1, against USA, Dimitrov dispatched Marty Fish in straight sets in his first win, although not official ATP win, against a top-10 player. At the Australian Open Dimitrov defeated Jeremy Charty to reach the second round but then he lost in five sets to Nicolas Almagro. Dimitrov competed in the SAP Open but lost in the first round to Kevin Anderson, despite winning the first set easily, lost the next two in tie breaks. At the BNP Paribas Open, Dimitrov defeated Ivan Dodig in the first round, but lost to David Ferrer in the second round. Dimitrov's next tournament was the Sony Ericsson Open, where he reached the fourth round after defeating Mikhail Kukushkin, Juan Ignacio Chela, and upsetting world number no. 7, Tomas Burdick, his first win over a top 10 player, before losing to Yanko Tipsarevic. Dimitrov entered the challenger event Strabag Prague Open as the fifth seeded player. In the first round, he defeated Jan Hajek and then lost to Alyaj Badene in the second. At the French Open, Dimitrov was a set in a breakup against 17th seed Gasquet before suffering an injury, he went on to lose the set, momentum and eventually match. Dimitrov at the 2012 US Open Dimitrov's next tournament was the Aegon Championships. He beat Bobby Reynolds, Gillis Muller and Nicholas Mahut and then reached his first ADP semifinal by beating the number 9 seed, Kevin Anderson by coming back from a set down. Dimitrov became the first ever Bulgarian male tennis player to reach an ATP semi final. In his first ATP semi final, Dimitrov lost to 10th seeded David Nalbandian in straight sets. This tournament helped him become number 65 in the rankings. At the 2012 Wimbledon Championships, Dimitrov faced the number 32 seed, Kevin Anderson, in the first round. Dimitrov won in a very close four sets. In the second round, he faced the Cypriot Marcos Baghdadis, where Dimitrov retired due to an injury. His next tournament was Swedish Open. Seeded sixth, he eliminated Rogerio Dutra da Silva, Frederico Gil, and third seed Albert Ramos all in straight sets to reach a second ATP semifinal in his career. In the semifinal, he lost to the top seed and eventual champion David Ferrer in straight sets. Dimitrov then competed in the Credit Agricole Suisse Open Gestad. He defeated 6th seed Julian Beneteau, Dustin Brown, and Lukash Kubot. In his third career semifinal, he lost again, this time to Thomas Bellucci in two tough tiebreaks. On the grass of Wimbledon, Dimitrov represented his country for the first time in the Olympics. In the first round, he defeated Paul Lukash Kubot again in two tight sets, two weeks after he had beaten him in the Swiss Open quarterfinal. He fell in the second round to the 12th seed, Gillis Simon, his fourth loss against Simon, whom he has never beaten. On hard courts, Dimitrov has failed to qualify for Rogers Cup and Western and Southern Open. In both Masters tournaments, he lost in the first round of the qualifying round to Marco Cudinelli and Rajiv Ram respectively. Dimitrov suffered a first loss at the final slam of the year, the U.S. Open to Benoit Paire in four sets. He ended his drought at the PTT Thailand Open, reaching the second round before losing to Richard Gasquet in three tight sets. He then qualified for the Japan Open, but fell to Juan Monaco in straight sets. At the Masters event of Shanghai, he defeated Pablo Andujar before losing to world number no. 2 Novak Djokovic. At the Swiss indoors Basel Dimitrov reached the quarterfinals, defeating Viktor Troicki in straight sets and Julian Beneteau in three tiebreak sets, before losing to Paul-Henri Matthew in two tiebreak sets. His next tournament was the BNP Paribas Masters, after receiving an entry from the qualifying draw. He beat Jürgen Melzer before his 2012 campaign ended at the hands of Juan Monaco. 
Dimitrov ended 2012 ranked world number 48 in singles. 2013, first ATP title Dimitrov began his 2013 season by competing at the Brisbane International. He defeated Brian Baker, world number 13 Milos Raonic, Jurgen Melzer, and Marcos Bagdadis to reach his first ADP singles final, thus becoming the first Bulgarian player to reach an ADP final. He lost to world number 3 and defending champion Andy Murray in straight sets, despite being a breakup in both sets, Dimitrov paired Kei Nishikori in the doubles and reached the semifinals, but withdrew due to Nishikori's injury. This performance also meant that Dimitrov surpassed $1 million earned in prize money, a feat which no other male Bulgarian tennis player has accomplished. In his next event, the Apia International, Dimitrov suffered a first-round straight-set loss to Italian Fabio Fognini. At the Australian Open, Dimitrov suffered a first-round straight-set defeat by Julian Benito. He also competed in the men's doubles event with Marcos Bagdadis. The pair defeated fourth seeds Max Murny and Horia Teco in the second round, before losing to Juan Sebastián Cabal and Robert Farah Maksud in the third round in two close tiebreak sets. Despite losing in the first round, Dimitrov became the first male Bulgarian player to rank inside the top 40 after the event. He then competed for Bulgaria in the Davis Cup against Finland, and won both his singles matches against Juho Paku and Mike Kontinen, but lost his doubles in five sets, with partner Dimitar Kuzminov against Henri Kontinen of Finland and Harry Heliovara. Finland ended up winning the tie 3-2. At the PBC Zagreb indoors, Dimitrov lost in the first round to Ivo Karlovic in two tiebreaks. At the ABN AMRO World Tennis Tournament, Dimitrov beat Bernard Tomic and Nikolai Davidenko and Marcos Bagdadis in three sets. In the semifinals, Dimitrov lost against world number 7 and eventual champion Juan Martín del Potro in straight sets. At the BNP Paribas Open, Dimitrov became the first Bulgarian male tennis player to be seated in a Masters 1000 event. In singles, he beat Matthew Ebden in two sets, but lost to world number 1 Novak Djokovic in the third round. In doubles he partnered with Frederick Nielsen, they lost to Ivan Dodig and Marcelo Melo in the second round. At the Sony Open Tennis, Dimitrov beat Simone Bolelli, but lost to second seed Andy Murray in straight sets in the following round, in doubles with partner Frederick Nielsen. They reached semifinals losing in straight sets against the eighth seeds, Mariusz Fersenberg and Marcin Matkowski. Dimitrov at the 2013 Monte Carlo Masters Dimitrov's next tournament was the clay court Monte Carlo Masters, where he reached the quarterfinals beating Xavier Melisse, 8th seed Yanko Tipsarevich, and Florian Mayer, all in straight sets, but lost in three sets to eight-time defending champion and third seed Rafael Nadal. This good run in Monte Carlo meant Dimitrov entered the top 30 in the ATP rankings for the first time at number 28. His next event was Barcelona Open Banco Sabadell, seeded 14th, he received a bye, but lost in the second round, despite leading 5-2 in the first set, he lost in straight sets to inform Tommy Robredo. At the Madrid Open, following a victory over fellow 21-year-old Javier Murti, Dimitrov recorded the biggest win of his career, defeating world number 1, Novak Djokovic in a three-set match, in just over three hours. The two had met twice before, with Djokovic taking both encounters. In the third round, despite winning the first set, he lost in three sets to 15th seed Stan Wawrinka. Dimitrov's next event was at the Internationale BNL d'Italia. In what was his fourth victory over the Cypriot out of five matches, he beat Marcos Bagdadis in straight sets in the first round, with one break of serve deciding both sets. In the second round he lost in straight sets against ninth seed and world number 9 Richard Gasquet, his fourth loss against the Frenchman out of four matches. At the French Open Dimitrov was seeded 26th, thus becoming the first ever Bulgarian male tennis player to be seeded at a Grand Slam tournament. He beat Alejandro Faya in the first round, after the Colombian retired trailing one set to love and one game down in the second set, citing an elbow problem, Dimitrov eliminated wildcard. 
world number 324, Lucas Puy, in straight sets in the second round, thus becoming the first ever Bulgarian male tennis player to reach the third round of a Grand Slam. He lost in straight sets against world number one Novak Djokovic in the third round. Dimitrov also played in the doubles with partner Frederick Nielsen losing in straight sets to seventh-seeded Alexander Peya and Bruno Soares in the second round. Dimitrov at Wimbledon 2013 in the grass season, Dimitrov played the Aegon Championships, where he was seeded 10th. He faced Duty Sila in the first round, he came back from a set down and won the third set in a tiebreak, but lost to four-time champion Leighton Hewitt in the second round in straight sets. He then played the Boodles Challenge, an exhibition event, he lost to Yanko Tipsarevich and Novak Djokovic on a match tiebreak, but defeated Jerzy Yanovich in straight sets. At the Wimbledon Championships, Dimitrov eliminated Simone Bolelli in straight sets and then lost in the second round to world number 55 Griga Zemelja 11-9 in the fifth set. At Swedish Open Dimitrov reached semi-finals for his second consecutive year. He eliminated Elias Eimer and Filippo Volandri in three sets, and upset world number 21 Monaco in the quarterfinals, in straight sets, in the semifinals he lost to Fernando Verdasco, in an epic three-set battle. He then started his U.S. Open Series campaign at the City Open, Dimitrov received a bye and defeated Xavier Melis and Sam Querrey in straight sets. In the quarterfinals, Dimitrov lost in two tiebreak sets to the German veteran Tommy Haas. At the Rogers Cup, he fell in the first round the Spaniard Marcel Granollers in straight sets, but rebounded at the Western and Southern Open, defeating world number 15 Nicolas Almagro and Brian Baker, before losing to Rafael Nadal in three sets in the third round. The Bulgarian then suffered three consecutive first-round exits at the U.S. Open to show out Souza in five sets, the China Open to Roberto Bautista Agut in straight set, and the Shanghai Rolex Masters to Kei Nishikori in straight sets as well. At the Stockholm Open Dimitrov won his first ADP title by defeating top seed David Ferrer in the final, coming back from a set down, becoming the first ever male Bulgarian player in the Open era to win such a title. This win also meant Dimitrov reached a career-best number 22 in the world. He followed it up with a quarterfinal showing at the Swiss indoors defeating Radek Stepanek and Alexander Dolgopolov in straight sets, before losing to childhood idol Roger Federer in two tight sets. He played his final event of the year at the BNP Paribas Masters, where he beat Michael Lodra and Fabio Fognini, both in three sets, but then lost to Juan Martín del Potro in the third round, despite winning the first set. Dimitrov finished the year ranked 23rd in singles and 68th in doubles. On December 16, 2013, Dimitrov received the second most votes for the Bulgarian Sportsperson of the Year award, earning 1331 points and finishing just behind wrestler Ivo Andelov. 2014, three titles on three surfaces, Wimbledon semi final, top 10 Dimitrov started the 2014 season ranked 23rd. His first event was the Brisbane International, where he took part in the last event too and reached his first final at that time. He was now seeded fifth. However, now he was unable to repeat that good performance, winning in the first round in two sets against Robin Hossa in under one hour, but then losing against Marin Cilic in two sets, losing both sets to five games with a break of his serve in the last game deciding both sets. He also competed in the doubles with partner Jeremy Chardy and won in the first round against Brits Fleming and Hutchins, winning the deciding champion tiebreak, but then lost in the second round against Federer and Mahut in a match which featured three tiebreaks, with a champion tiebreak again deciding the match. Dimitrov then played at the exhibition tournament in Kuyong, Australia, an event which featured top players Richard Gasquet, Stan Wawrinka and Tomas Burdick. However, he failed to take a single victory, losing in straight sets to Kei Nishikori and Fernando Verdasco, and ultimately pulled out prior to the seventh place playoff. Seated 22nd at the Australian Open, Dimitrov had his best run at a Grand Slam event, defeating Bradley Clan, Lee Yensun, 11th seed Milos Raonic, and Roberto Bautista Agut in succession, leading him to his first ever major quarterfinal, where he lost to top seed and world number one Rafael Nadal in four sets, after winning the first and also having three set points to win the third. 
As a result of this career best run at a Grand Slam tournament, Dimitrov entered the world's top 20 for the first time at number 19, comma, becoming the first ever Bulgarian male tennis player to do so. Next, in February, he played at the Rotterdam indoor event, where he was seated 8th. Dimitrov beat world number 28 Dmitry Tursunov in the first round 2 to 1 sets. Dimitrov then lost to world number 24 Ernest Skolbis in straight sets. Dimitrov with the trophy at the Acapulco event. Dimitrov played in the Acapulco hard court event, where he was seated fourth. Dimitrov beat world number 71 Marinko Matasevic in the first round and Marcos Bagdadis in the second in straight sets. In the quarterfinals, Dimitrov beat seventh seed and world number 18 Ernest Skolbis in two sets to one in a match lasting over two and a half hours. In the semifinals, Dimitrov beat second seed and world no. 7, Andy Murray for the first time in a match that lasted almost three hours, losing the first set then overcoming the Brit in two tiebreaks, thus, reaching his third ATP final where he defeated Kevin Anderson in three sets. The victory was Dimitrov's first win at an ATP 500-level tournament, and with it he reached his highest-ever ATP rank, number 16. Following his win, Dimitrov played at Indian Wells, an ATP 1000 event, where he was seeded 15th and received a buy into the second round where he beat Robin Hassa in straight sets, but then lost in the third round in two sets to one to world number 22, Ernest Skolbis, who reached the quarterfinal. Dimitrov then played in Miami, where he was again seeded 15th and had a buy in the first round. He beat Albert Montaigne's 2-1 sets, losing the second set on a tiebreak, in round 2. In the third round, in what was his second loss against the Japanese out of two matches between them, he lost in a tight two sets to 20th C. K. Nishikori, who went on to reach the semifinals. After Miami, Dimitrov reached a new career-high ranking of number 15. Next, in April, he played for the Bulgarian Davis Cup team in the Europe Group 2 playoffs between Greece and Bulgaria. In the opening match of the tie, he beat number 690 teenager Marcos Kalavalonis 3 0 sets, losing just six games. He then teamed up with number 344 Dimitar Kutrovsky, who previously brought a second win for Bulgaria, and they beat the Greek team of Alexandros Jakupovic and Marcos Kalavalonis 3-0 sets, thus bringing the tie to a crucial 3-0 lead, meaning Bulgaria keeps their Europe Group 2 position for 2015 and Greece gets relegated to Europe Group 3. Just before Monte Carlo, Dimitrov reached a new career-high ranking of number 14. At the Monte Carlo Masters Clay Court event, he was seeded 12th. Dimitrov beat in form number 32 Marcel Granollers 2-1 sets in the first round, then another Spaniard, qualifier Albert Ramos, ranked just outside the top 100, also 2-1 sets. However, in what was his fourth loss out of five matches between them, Dimitrov lost 2-0 sets to 6th seed David Ferrer in round 3. He then played in the Bucharest clay court event, where he was given a wild card and was the top seed and had a bye in the first round. In what was the first meeting between the two, in round 2 Dimitrov beat number 79 Yuri Vesely 2-0 sets. He beat Sergei Stakovsky 2-0 sets in round 3, then beat third seed number 24 Gail Monfils in the semifinals after leading in the first set when Monfils retired 89, thus reaching his fourth ADP final. In the final, Dimitrov defeated Lucas Russell 2-0 sets, winning the first on a tiebreak, then winning the second set with the loss of just one game to win his third ATP title and first one on clay. In May, he played in the Madrid Open clay court event, where he was seeded 12th. Dimitrov beat local wildcard Pablo Carreño busted 2-0 sets in the first round, then in the second round another wildcard. Number 164 Marius Kopil, 2-1 sets, coming back from a set down, winning the deciding set on a tie. Break. However, in what was his first loss against the Czech out of three matches between them, in round three he lost 2-1 sets to sixth seed number six, Tomas Burdick, after winning the first set. Dimitrov then played at the Italian Open, where he was again seeded 12th. He beat number 47 Eduard Roger Vaselin 2 to 1 sets, number 52 Ivo Karlovic 2 to 0 sets, then 6th seed, Tomas Burdick, 2 to 1 for a third victory against the Czech out of four matches between them, then 15th seed Tommy Haas in the quarterfinals, after the German retired while losing 1 to 0 in sets. 
In what was the fifth match between them and the first match that Dimitrov was unable to win a set in, he lost 2-0 sets to first seed Rafael Nadal in the semifinals. This reaching of the Rome semifinal was Dimitrov's best ADP Masters performance. He also successfully played in the Rome doubles with partner Lucas Rossell and they beat unseeded World No. For Colombian pair won Sebastián Cabal and Robert Farah Maxud in the first round 2-0 sets, winning both sets on a tie-break. In the second and third rounds, they beat second-seeded Austrian-Brazilian duo of Alexander Peya and Bruno Soares then unseeded Marin Cilic and Santiago González, both 2-1 sets. They lost 2-0 sets to undead Robin Hassa and Feliciano López in the semifinals. This performance meant Dimitrov reached a new career-best singles ranking of 12th and also moved 58 places up the doubles rankings to number 84. He then played at French Open, where he was seeded 11th. In round one he lost 3-0 sets to big-serving number 37 Ivo Karlovic, whom he recently beat in Rome. In June 2014, Dimitrov played at the Queen's Grass Court event, where he was seeded 4th and had a buy into round two. He beat local number 168 James Ward in round two, then number 53 Edward Roger Vaselin in the third round, both 2-0 sets. Dimitrov was due to play eighth seed Alexander Dolgopolov in the quarterfinals, but received a walkover when the Ukrainian retired before the match, citing a thigh injury. Dimitrov then faced first seed, Stan Warinka, in the semifinals, and won in straight sets. Dimitrov claimed his first title in a grass court against Feliciano Lopez in three sets, being a set behind and saving a match point. It was the event's first time in which the final was decided with three tiebreakers, as well as being the longest ever Queen's final. Dimitrov also played in the Queen's doubles event, with partner world number no. 3 Warinka, ranked outside the top 150 in the ATP doubles rankings, and in round 1 they beat local brother wildcard duo of Ken and Neil Skupski in straight sets, but then lost in a tight two-setter to third-seeded Canadian-Serbian veteran duo of Daniel Nestor and Nenad Zimanić in the second round. Next, Dimitrov played at the 2014 Wimbledon Championships, where he was seeded 11th. In rounds 1 in TWP he beat two qualifiers No. 150 Ryan Harrison and No. 236 Luke Seville, both in three sets. In round 3, in what was his second victory against the Ukrainian out of three matches, he beat 21st seed Alexander Dolgopolov in a five-set match, coming back from two to one sets down. Dimitrov followed that up with a straight sets victory over No. 64 Leonardo Mayer in round 4. In the quarterfinals, in what was his second victory against the Brit out of five matches, he beat defending Wimbledon champion and third seed Andy Murray 3-0 sets. This win meant Dimitrov reached his first Grand Slam semi-final, becoming the first male Bulgarian player to reach that stage. He was beaten in four sets by first seed number two, Novak Djokovic, who went on to win the tournament. This good performance also meant Dimitrov entered the top 10 ATP rankings for the first time at number 9, becoming the first ever Bulgarian male tennis player to do so. In the end of July, Dimitrov was due to play at the Washington Open hardcourt event, where he was seeded third, but had to withdraw due to flu and sinus problems. In August, he played at the Canadian Open Masters, where he was seeded number 7 and had a buy into the second round. In the second and third rounds Dimitrov beat Donald Young and 17th seed Tommy Robredo, both 2-1 sets. Then, in the quarterfinals, in what was his fifth victory against the South African out of six matches between them, he beat number 21, Kevin Anderson, 2-1 sets, coming back from a set down and winning the deciding set on a tiebreak. In the semifinals, he lost to 13th seed and eventual champion, Joe Wilfried Sanga. Next, Dimitrov played at the Cincinnati Masters. He was seeded seventh again and had a buy into the second round where he lost to Jerzy Janowicz. At the U.S. Open, Dimitrov was seeded seventh. After Dimitrov defeated Ryan Harrison in the first round, Dudi Sila in the second, and David Goffin in the third, he lost to 20th seed Gail Monfils in the round of 16 in three close sets, which dropped his tennis ranking to no. 10 after the tournament. 
Along with Novak Djokovic and Rafael Nadal, Dimitrov competed in the annual September China Open Tournament in Beijing. After defeating Fernando Verdasco and Pablo Andujar, Dimitrov lost to world number one Djokovic in the quarterfinals. Dimitrov's next tournament was the Shanghai Rolex Masters, where he was seeded 10th. After defeating Denis Istomin in the first round, Dimitrov lost to the unseeded Julian Benito in the second round. Dimitrov began the defense of his ADP maiden title in Stockholm, winning his second and third round matches with Timuraz Gabashvili and Jack Sock. He beat Bernard Tomic in the semifinals, reaching his sixth career ATP World Tour singles final. Dimitrov lost the final to Tomas Burdick in three sets. In Basel, Dimitrov beat teenager Alexander Zverev and Vasek Pospisil in first and second rounds, before losing to top seeded and eventual champion Roger Federer at the quarterfinals for a second year in a row. At the Paris Masters, Dimitrov beat Pablo Cuevas in the second round, but then lost to Andy Murray in the third. This was his last tournament for the year. Dimitrov had an opportunity to qualify for the 2014 ATP World Tour Finals, but he finished 11th. On December 22, 2014, Dimitrov was chosen as the Bulgarian Sportsperson of the Year, earning 1190 points, becoming the first tennis player to win the award. 2015, Australian Open fourth round Dimitrov started the year ranked number 11. In the beginning of January, he began his season at the Brisbane Outdoor Hardcourt event, where he was seated fourth and received a buy into the second round. There, Dimitrov beat Jeremy Chardy, coming back from a set down and winning the deciding set on a tiebreak. In the quarterfinals, he beat Martin Klizen in straight sets, but then lost to world number two and eventual champion Roger Federer at the semifinals in less than an hour. Dimitrov also played in the doubles event, paired with the Australian teenager Thanasai Kokonakis, with whom he reached the semifinals. At the Australian Open, Dimitrov was seeded 10th. In the first round he overcame Dustin Brown in just 69 minutes, then in the second round he beat Lucas Lacco in four sets and Marcos Bagdadis in five sets in the third round. Dimitrov lost to sixth seed and eventual runner-up, Andy Murray, in the fourth round in four sets. In February, Dimitrov participated in the Rotterdam Open indoor hardcourt event, where he was seeded fifth. In the first round he beat the qualifier Paul-Henri Matthew 2-1 sets, saving two match points in the second set, but then lost in straight sets to world number 37, Gillis Muller, in the second round. Dimitrov played in Acapulco next, where he was the defending champion and seeded third. He lost in the second round to Ryan Harrison. On March 10, 2015, Dimitrov played at an annual exhibition tournament in Madison Square Garden against Federer, defeating the Swiss star for the first time. In March Dimitrov played at the Indian Wells Masters, where he was seeded 11th and had a buy into the second round, where he beat in three sets the Australian teenager and world number 37, Nick Kyrgios. Dimitrov lost to world number 19, Tommy Robredo, in the third round. Dimitrov also played at the doubles event, paired with Marty Fish, but they lost in the first round to Spaniards David Ferrer and Fernando Verdasco. Dimitrov was seeded ninth at the Miami Masters and had a buy into the second round, where he beat Vasek Pospisil, but then lost to the 22nd seed John Isner in the third round. Dimitrov began his clay season at the Monte Carlo Masters. He was seeded ninth and beat Verdasco in the first round, and then defeated in straight sets Fabio Fognini in the second round. In the third round, Dimitrov crushed in less than an hour the seventh seed and defending champion Stan Wawrinka and then lost in straight sets to Gail Monfils in the quarterfinals. Dimitrov also played in the doubles, paired with Max Murney. They reached the second round, where they lost to the Bryan brothers. Dimitrov decided not to defend his title in Bucharest, and instead he participated in the first edition of the Istanbul event. He was seeded second and had a buy into the second round, where he defeated Andrei Golubev. In the quarterfinals Dimitrov beat Ivan Dodig, but then lost to Pablo Cuevas in the semifinals. Next, Dimitrov played at the Madrid Masters, where he was seeded 10th. 
His opponent in the first round, Donald Young, retired after Dimitrov was leading by a set and by 3-0 games in the second set. Then, Dimitrov beat Fabio Fognini, coming back from a set down, and overcame eighth seed Stan Wawrinka in three sets in the third round. At the quarterfinals, Dimitrov lost in straight sets to third seed and two-time defending champion Rafael Nadal, which was his sixth defeat out of six matches between them. Dimitrov also played in the doubles and reached the second round. Dimitrov was unable to defend his semifinal at the Rome Masters in May. He was seeded 10th and beat in straight sets Jerzy Janowicz in the first round, but then lost in three sets to Fabio Fognini in what was the third match between them within a month. Next, Dimitrov lost in straight sets to Jack Sock at the French Open in the first round despite being seeded 10th. Dimitrov exited the tournament early for a second year in a row. In June, Dimitrov failed to defend his title at the Queen's Grass Court event, losing in the second round to Gillis Muller. Next, being seeded 11th, he played at the Wimbledon Championships and in the first two round eliminated Federico Del Bonis and Steve Johnson. Dimitrov lost in straight sets to Richard Gasquet in the third round, in what was his fifth defeat out of five matches against the Frenchman. Following that defeat, Dimitrov decided to part ways with coach Roger Rashid. In July, he participated in the 2015 Davis Cup against Luxembourg, winning all his matches. In August, he started his U.S. Open Series campaign in Washington, reaching the third round. Then, he played at the Rogers Cup, losing to Jack Sock in the second round. At the Cincinnati Masters, Dimitrov was eliminated in the third round by the world number two. Andy Murray, having missed a match point in the third set. Dimitrov's weak performance continued at the U.S. Open, where he lost in five sets to Mikhail Kukushkin in the second round. In September he hired Franco Davin as his coach, Dimitrov reached the quarterfinals in Kuala Lumpur and then in the beginning of October had another first-round exit in Tokyo. After these tournament Dimitrov dropped out of top 20. After an unsuccessful Asia swing, Dimitrov traveled to Sweden to participate in the Stockholm Open and reached the quarterfinals where he was defeated by Tomas Burdick in straight sets. Following that tournament, he traveled to Basel for the Swiss indoors where he lost to Rafael Nadal in three sets in the round of 16. His last tournament for the year was Paris, where Dimitrov managed to eliminate Marin Cilic before losing to Ferrer. He did not qualify for the ATP World Tour Finals. 2016, second U.S. Open fourth round ranked world number 28, Dimitrov began the season in Brisbane, where he reached the quarterfinals, losing to Federer. Paired with Kei Nishikori, Dimitrov also reached the semifinals in the doubles, but withdrew due to shoulder soreness. The Bulgarian reached his seventh career final in Sydney, losing to the defending champion Viktor Troicki in three sets and a tiebreak in the third set. Next, Dimitrov recorded another defeat to Federer, his fifth overall between the two, in the third round of the Australian Open. In February, Dimitrov decided to skip the first edition of Sofia Open in his homeland and participated in the Delray Beach event, where he lost to the unseated Rajiv Ram in the semifinals. Next, Dimitrov lost to the inform and eventual champion Dominic Thiem at the quarterfinals in Acapulco. In March, seeded 23rd, Dimitrov had a buy into the second round of the Indian Wells Masters, but was upset by the German teenager Alexander Zverev. Dimitrov also had a buy into the second round of the Miami Open. In the third round, he overcame the world number two, Andy Murray, coming back from a set down but then lost to Gael Monfils. In April, Dimitrov began his clay court season. He reached the second round of the Monte Carlo Masters, losing to the 15th seed Gillis Simon in straight sets. Seeded second, Dimitrov reached his eighth career final in the Istanbul event, beating third seed Ivo Karlovic at the semifinals in two tie breaks. In the final, against the unseated Diego Schwartzman, Dimitrov was serving for the match in the second set, but started cramping and then had a complete meltdown. After smashing two rackets and being warned and penalized, Dimitrov smashed a third racket in the third set, which resulted in a match-ending penalty. 
At the Madrid Masters in the beginning of May, Dimitrov was unable to defend his quarterfinal from the previous year, suffering a first-round exit in straight sets to Pablo Carreño, not having lost even a set to the Spaniard prior to that match. In the following week, Dimitrov's position in the ATP ranking deteriorated further to number 35, a three-year low. The Bulgarian was then beaten again by Alexander Zverev in first round of the Rome Masters. This was followed by another first-round loss at the French Open to Viktor Troicki, this time in five sets. In June, Dimitrov's downfall continued, as he played on grass courts in Stuttgart and in London, losing once again in the first rounds to the wildcard Juan Martín del Potro in straight sets, and to the returning from injury Yanko Tipsarevich, respectively. Being unseated at a major for the first time since 2013, Dimitrov ended his losing streak at the 2016 Wimbledon, first beating qualifier Bjorn Fratangelo and then 16th seed Gillis Simon, before losing to Steve Johnson. Soon after that, Dimitrov revealed that prior to Wimbledon he had split with his coach Franco Davin, the Bulgarian hired Daniel Valverdu as coach. In July, Dimitrov was seeded 12th in Washington Open and had a buy into the second round, but had another disappointment as he lost in straight sets to number 82, Daniel Evans. At Rogers Cup, Dimitrov survived another early elimination against Yuichi Sugita in the first round, coming back from a set down and facing 2 to 5 in the second set tiebreak. That was followed by an easy win against wildcard Denis Shapovalov and then Dimitrov beat Ivo Karlovich in straight sets in the third round. The Bulgarian lost in three sets to third seed Nishikori in the quarterfinals. Paired with Warinka, he beat Lucas Puy and Dominic Tame in the doubles, before losing to Henri Kontinen and John Pierce. Dimitrov participated in the 2016 Summer Olympics in the first half of August, but lost in the first round to ninth seed Marin Cilic. The Bulgarian then had a good run in Cincinnati, reaching his third career Masters semifinal. He subsequently beat in straight sets Gillis Simon in the first round and then came back from a set to down to eliminate 16th seed Feliciano Lopez. In the third round Dimitrov won against second seed Warinka and then beat Steve Johnson in the quarterfinals, both in straight sets. In the semifinal he was stopped again by the eventual champion Marin Cilic, after allowing re-breaks twice in the third set. With his performance, the Bulgarian secured the second spot in the 2016 U.S. Open Series standings. In the following week, Dimitrov returned in top 30 of ADP ranking, jumping 10 positions to number 24 spot. Seated 22nd, Dimitrov played in the 2016 U.S. Open and reached the fourth round for a second time in his career after beating en route Inigo Cervantes, Jeremy Chardy and Joao Souza before losing in straight sets to second seed, Andy Murray, who allowed Dimitrov only five games in total. Dimitrov moved to Asia to play in the inaugural Chengdu Open. He was seeded third and reached the semifinals, where he lost to fifth seed Albert Ramos Vinolas. The Bulgarian then went to the final of the Beijing event, beating Steve Johnson, sixth seed Lucas Puy, and gaining first victory over Rafael Nadal, who was ranked number four at the moment. At the semifinals, the third seed, Milos Raonic, withdrew prior to the match with Dimitrov due to ankle injury. Dimitrov lost the final to number two, Andy Murray in two tight sets. The Bulgarian then participated in the Shanghai Masters, where in the first round he overcame in straight sets 14th seed, Richard Gasquet, to whom Dimitrov had had a negative record of 0-5 losses, but in the second loss to qualifier Vasek Pospisil, who had never beaten Dimitrov. The Bulgarian returned to Europe and reached the semifinals in Stockholm, where he was stopped by the eventual champion Juan Martín del Potro. Dimitrov then played in Basel, but exited the event with a first-round loss against Gillis Muller. In his last tournament for the season, the Paris Masters, Dimitrov lost in three sets to number 1, Novak Djokovic in the third round. 2017 Major Semifinal, Masters and ATP Finals titles, World No. 3 ranked World No. 17, Dimitrov had a flying start to the season in Brisbane, reaching the final by defeating World No. 8, Dominic Tame in the quarterfinals and then No. 3 in defending champion Milos Raonic in the semifinals. 
In the final he overcame world number 5, Kei Nishikori, in three sets, winning his first ADP title in nearly three years, his last having been at Queen's Club in 2014. Dimitrov next moved on to play in the 2017 Australian Open, where he extended his winning streak further, reaching the semi-finals. Dimitrov beat 18th seed, Richard Gasquet, in the third round and 11th seed David Goffin in the quarterfinals, before being eliminated by Rafael Nadal in a five-set thriller, which lasted almost five hours, with Dimitrov failing to convert double breakpoints in the fifth set when the score was 4-3 for Dimitrov. The match with Nadal was later cited among the top three of best Grand Slam matches in 2017. In February, Dimitrov competed in the Sofia Open, where he was seeded third. The Bulgarian maintained his excellent start to the season, winning his second title of the year on home soil, defeating second seed, David Goffin, in straight sets in the final. However, the Belgian managed to grab his first victory over Dimitrov, eliminating him in three sets in the quarterfinals of the Rotterdam Open. In March, Dimitrov played in the Indian Wells Masters, losing in three sets to Jack Sock in the third round, after missing four match points. The Bulgarian then participated in the Miami Open, but was upset by unseeded Guido Pella in the second round. Dimitrov began his clay court season with a loss to Tommy Robredo in the second round of the Grand Prix Hassan II tournament, for which he received a wild card and was the top seed. This was followed by another upset at the Monte Carlo Masters, where Dimitrov was seeded eighth and had a buy into the second round, but lost to qualifier Jan Leonard Struff. The Bulgarian ended his losing streak in the Madrid Masters, reaching the third round, where he was eliminated by Dominic Thiem in three tight sets after missing five match points in the third set tiebreak. Next, Dimitrov had a first round exit in the Rome Masters, being defeated by Juan Martin Del Potro in three sets. This was the fifth loss to the Argentine in five meetings. Dimitrov then went to the third round of the French Open, where he lost to Pablo Carreño Busta. Dimitrov started on grass court in Stuttgart. He was seeded second, but lost in his first match. The Bulgarian then had a good run at the Queen's Club event, where he reached the semifinals. Dimitrov lost in three sets to inform eventual champion Feliciano Lopez. Without dropping a set, the Bulgarian reached the fourth round at Wimbledon, but then lost in straight sets to eventual champion Roger Federer in what was his sixth defeat in six official matches with the Swiss. Dimitrov returned to the top ten for the first time since February 2015 at the conclusion of the tournament. Dimitrov at the 2017 Washington Open Dimitrov returned to hard courts in August. After reaching third rounds at the Washington Open and the Rogers Cup in Montreal, the Bulgarian won his first Masters 1000 title in Cincinnati, defeating Nick Kyrgios in the final in straight sets, winning the tournament without losing a set. Dimitrov then reached the second round of the U.S. Open, where he lost to teenager Andrei Rublev. In the beginning of October, Dimitrov reached the semifinals in Beijing after wins over Juan Martín del Potro and Roberto Bautista Agut, and then the quarterfinals of the Shanghai Masters. In both events the Bulgarian was eliminated by world number one, Rafael Nadal, in three setters. Dimitrov then advanced to the final of the Stockholm Open with wins over Jerzy Janovic, Misha Zverev and Fabio Fognini but lost to U.S. Open semifinalist del Potro in straight sets. This was Dimitrov's third final in Stockholm. In the following week, Dimitrov was confirmed to participate for the first time at the ATP finals, thus becoming the first Bulgarian to qualify for the season-ending championships. Afterwards, he decided to skip the Vienna Open, despite being given a wild card, due to fatigue, and to prepare for the Paris Masters the following week where Dimitrov grabbed third victory in a row over Richard Gasquet before losing in the third round to big-serving John Isner in three sets. On the following week, prior to the ATP finals, Dimitrov achieved a new career high, climbing to world number six position. Dimitrov was drawn in the Pete Sampras group of the 2017 ATP finals, together with Rafael Nadal, Dominic Thiem and David Goffin. Playing with Tame in his debut match, Dimitrov clinched a maiden victory in the ATP finals in a tight three-setter. The Bulgarian then routed Goffin, allowing only two games to his opponent. 
With this win Dimitrov won the first place in the group and secured his place at the semi-finals. Dimitrov stayed perfect in the group after another convincing victory, this time against alternate Pablo Carreño Busta. The Bulgarian came back from a set down to ultimately eliminate inform Jack Sock in the semi-finals. Dimitrov won the biggest title of his career by defeating once again David Goffin in three tight sets in the final. He finished the tournament as an undefeated champion, receiving a prize of $2,549,000 and 1,500 ranking points, the latter helped him finish 2017 at a career-high world number three, only behind Nadal and Federer. Dot. Dimitrov ended his 2017 season with these significant milestones, current figure in brackets, 1. First Masters 1000 title, 2. First ADP Finals crown, 3. Five tour finals, 4. Four tour titles, 5. Eight top 10 match wins had 13 total prior to 2017, 6. 250 career match wins 257 match wins, 7, cracked $10 million in career earnings $13,103,976, 8, cracked $5 million in a single season $5,628,512, 9, second Grand Slam semifinal, 10, first Grand Slam semifinal on hard courts. 2018, Australian Open quarterfinal, 15th final, Laver Cup win Dimitrov at the 2018 Australian Open Dimitrov started his 2018 campaign in Brisbane, where he was the defending champion and top seed. He started from the second round with hard three-set win against the home favorite and wild card John Millman, then overcame with another three-setter the British number two Kyle Edmund. Dimitrov was eliminated in the semifinals by the third seed and eventual champion Nick Kyrgios. The Bulgarian played in the doubles as well. Paired with Ryan Harrison, he reached the semifinals, before withdrawing. Having started his campaign at Australian Open with a couple of wins against qualifiers Denis Novak and Mackenzie McDonald, Dimitrov was drawn against Andre Rublev who had knocked him out in the second round of US Open several months before and took revenge, eliminating the 30th-seeded Russian. Dimitrov then edged in form Nick Kyrgios in tight four sets to qualify for his third Australian Open quarterfinal, where he lost to Kyle Edmund in four sets, and the following week Dimitrov stated that he had played the last matches with a shoulder injury. Failing to recover, the Bulgarian withdrew from the Sofia Open, where he was defending champion. In February, Dimitrov reached the final of the Rotterdam Open without dropping a set, defeating Yuichi Sugita, Filip Krajinovic, Andrei Rublev, and David Goffin en route, but eventually lost to Roger Federer, who would regain world number one ranking after the tournament. Next, Dimitrov played in Dubai, where he was top seed, but was upset in the first round by Malik Jaziri. In March, Dimitrov was third seed at both the Indian Wells and Miami Masters, but faced early eliminations by Fernando Verdasco in the second round and by Jeremy Chardy in the third round, respectively. Dimitrov rebounded on the next tournament, the Monte Carlo Masters, advancing to the semifinals of the clay event after beating number 10 David Goffin in the quarterfinals. Dimitrov ultimately lost to world number one Rafael Nadal. That was followed by a quarterfinal in Barcelona, where Dimitrov lost to Pablo Carreño Busta. After the match ending handshake, Dimitrov accused Carreño Busta of stopping the point in the second set tiebreak, which led to an unforced error by the Bulgarian. Carreño Busta denied the accusations. In May, Dimitrov lost in the second rounds of the Madrid and Rome Masters to Milos Raonic and Kane Shikori, respectively. Dimitrov then lost in straight sets to Fernando Verdasco in the third round of the French Open. Dimitrov had his worst grass court season since 2010, having recorded early losses to Novak Djokovic at the Queen's Club Tournament and to Stan Wawrinka at the Wimbledon Championships. The second of the defeats came in the first round of the Grand Slam event. Dimitrov next played in August at the Toronto Masters, where he reached the quarterfinals, losing to Kevin Anderson. Dimitrov then failed to defend his Masters title in Cincinnati after he was beaten in the third round by the eventual champion Novak Djokovic in a tight three-setter. As a result, Dimitrov's ranking dropped to world number eight. That was followed by first-round elimination at the 2018 U.S. Open, with Dimitrov losing to Stan Wawrinka in straights. 
Dimitrov contributed to Team Europe for winning the second edition of the Lever Cup. However, his struggles with form continued after early exits at the China Open and in Vienna, losing to unseated Dusan Lajovic and Mikhail Kukushkin, respectively. Dimitrov's season ended after the Paris Masters, where he lost to fifth seed, Marin Cilic in the third round. Dimitrov didn't qualify for the ATP Finals, where he was the defending champion. Former world number one, Andre Agassi, joined Dimitrov's team prior to the Paris Masters, 2019, shoulder injury, U.S. Open semifinal Dimitrov at the 2019 Rolex Paris Masters Dimitrov started his campaign in Brisbane where he defeated Yoshihito Nishioka and John Millman in straight sets before losing to eventual champion Kei Nishikori in the quarterfinals, in January. Dimitrov reached the last 16 of the 2019 Australian Open, but was knocked out by Francis Tiafo in four sets. Having suffered from a shoulder injury, Dimitrov returned to play in the Miami Masters, reaching the third round. Dimitrov then started his clay court campaign at the Monte Carlo Masters, where he lost to Rafael Nadal in the third round. Dimitrov then went to the third round of Barcelona Open. His ranking deteriorated to number 49, the lowest since 2012. At the French Open, Dimitrov upset Marin Cilic in the second round but was subsequently eliminated by Stan Wawrinka in straight sets. Dimitrov had a disappointing Wimbledon, losing to Corentin Moutet in five sets in the first round, despite being up two sets. Dimitrov's hard court season started off poorly. He lost in the first round of the Atlanta Open to world number 405 Kevin King, who had never won a main draw match on the ATP Tour. Dimitrov then lost to Stan Wawrinka in the first rounds of both the Rogers Cup and the Western and Southern Open. Following this, Dimitrov had lost seven of his past eight matches, and his ranking had slipped to number 78, his lowest ranking in over seven years. At the U.S. Open, Dimitrov was unseated. He defeated Andreas Seppi in the first round before receiving a walkover over 12th seed Borna Chorich. He then defeated lucky loser Camel Matchcrack and Alex de Menor in straight sets to reach the quarterfinals. There, he faced third seed Roger Federer. In a lengthy five-set match, Dimitrov upset Federer to reach his first Grand Slam semifinal since the 2017 Australian Open. This was also his first career win against Federer, having been defeated on seven previous occasions. He then lost to Daniil Medvedev in the semifinals. As a result of this run, Dimitrov rose 53 ranking places in a single tournament, appearing at world number 25 the next week. Dimitrov failed to proceed beyond the second round at Chengdu, Beijing, Stockholm, and Vienna. At the Paris Masters, he defeated Hugo Humbert and 12th seed David Goffin to reach the third round, where he defeated the 5th seed Dominic Taim. In the quarterfinals, he defeated Christian Guerin, before losing to Djokovic in straight sets in the semifinals. 2020, inaugural ATP Cup captain, French Open fourth round in January, Dimitrov participated and led as captain the Bulgarian team in the inaugural 2020 ATP Cup where the top 24 countries qualified based on the singles ATP ranking of their number one country player. The Bulgarian team was number 19 based on Dimitrov's ranking and part of Group C where Dimitrov won both his single matches against the top players of Great Britain Dan Evans and Moldova Radu Albert, he pulled a victory in doubles where. As the underdogs he and teammate Alexander Lazarov stunned the top British experienced pair of Jamie Murray slash Joe Salisbury in a close three sets match. In October, Dimitrov reached the fourth round of the French Open for the first time, defeating Roberto Carbal's Baena, where he lost to Stefanos Tsitsipas in straight sets. He finished the year in the top 20 for the fifth year in a row, ranked world number 19. 2021, Australian Open quarterfinal, Indian Wells semi-final in February, Dimitrov seeded 18th reached his fourth quarterfinal at the 2021 Australian Open, AO, defeating former Grand Slam champion Marin Cilic in the first round, Alex Bolt, 15th seed Pablo Carreño Busta by retirement and third seed in the previous year's runner-up Dominic Taim in the fourth round, before losing to qualifier Aslan Karatsev after suffering from back spasms, Dimitrov retired in the first round of the French Open. 
against Marcos Duran for the same reasons as a result of his back problems after failing to convert three match points in the third set. Seated 18th at the 2021 Wimbledon Championships, he lost to Alexander Bublik in the second round in three straight sets with two tiebreaks after Bublik hit 34 aces against Dimitrov. He took his revenge by defeating Bublik at the 2021 Western and Southern Open Masters in Cincinnati to reach the round of 16. He lost to Daniil Medvedev in straight sets. At the U.S. Open, he retired with a foot injury after losing the first two sets to Alexei Popperin in the second round. He dropped out of the top 25 since he could not defend his points from the 2019 U.S. Open semifinal to number 29 on September 13, 2021. In late September, Dimitrov recorded his first win over Martin Fuxovics in three ADP head two head meetings at the 2021 San Diego Open to reach the second round. He then won in the second round, defeating ATP debutante and lucky loser August Holmgren, tennis, after Felix Augurelius sign withdrawal in straight sets 6 1. 6 to 1 in a 56 minutes match to reach his fifth quarter final of the season. He reached his first semi final of the year, defeating Aslan Karatsev in three sets and taking his revenge for his earlier in the year loss at the AO. In the semi finals, he lost to eventual champion Kasper Rude. At the 2021 BNP Paribas Open in Indian Wells, Dimitrov reached the round of 16 for the first time in his career defeating en route qualifier Daniel Altmaier and then world number 20 and 16 seed Riley Opelka in straight sets with no breaks, taking his revenge for his earlier in the year loss to the American at the Canadian Open. In the fourth round, Dimitrov defeated world number 2 and top seed Daniil Medvedev 4-6, 6-4, 6-3 to, to reach the quarterfinals. He came back from a set and a double breakdown at 4-6, 1-4 to eliminate the reigning U.S. Open champion and earn his first win over a top two opponent since 2016. In the quarterfinals he defeated 8th seed Hubert Hercax rallying again from a set down to reach the semifinals for the first time in his career at this Masters. He then lost to Cameron Norrie in the semifinals. At the 2021 Rolex Paris Masters, he defeated wildcard Richard Gasquet and 2018 champion Karen Kachanov in the second round, with the last set being 6-0. He lost to fourth seed Alexander Zverev in the round of 16. 2022, 350th tour-level win, Master Semifinal. 30th top 10 win Dimitrov at the 2022 Monte Carlo Masters The season for Dimitrov began at the 2022 Melbourne Summer Set Tournament, where he reached the semifinals, before losing to qualifier Maxime Cressy. Next, he participated in the 2022 Australian Open but he lost in the second round to Benoit Pair at the 2022 Delray Beach Open following his second round win over Mitchell Kruger, Dimitrov became only the second man born in the 90s or later to reach 350 career wins, after Milos Raonic. He was the 130th man in the Open era and the 22nd active player to do it. In March, Dimitrov reached the quarterfinals of the Indian Wells Masters before losing to 7th seed Andre Rublev in straight sets. At the Monte Carlo Masters he reached the semifinals with an upset against 4th seed Casper Ruud and again 11th seed Hubert Hercax. At the French Open, he lost in the third round to 15th seed Diego Schwartzman in straight sets, whom Dimitrov defeated also in straight sets at the 2022 Mutua Madrid Open. At Wimbledon he retired in the first round against Steve Johnson. At the 2022 National Bank Open he reached the second round in singles and in doubles with Andre Rublev defeating Canadian wildcard debutante Alexis Galarno and Wimbledon doubles champions Ebden slash Purcell respectively. The pair also reached the second round of the 2022 Western and Southern Open defeating Dan Evans and John Pierce. Following two straight first-round losses at the 2022 Sofia Open and the 2022 Stockholm Open he won his opening match at the 2022 Erste Bank Open in Vienna against Tiago Montero. Next he defeated world number 8 and third seed Andre Rublev, his 30th top 10 win, to reach the quarterfinals and Marcos Giron to reach his third semifinal of the season. He lost to world number no. 4 and top seed eventual champion Daniil Medvedev in straight sets. At the 2022 Rolex Paris Masters, he reached the third round, defeating Botic van de Zanschulp, lucky loser Fabio Fognini, before losing to world number no. 1 Carlos Algaraz to end his season. He finished the year in the top 30 for the 10th year in a row, ranked world number no. 28 on November 21, 2022. Based on this ranking, 
being the Bulgarian male player no. 1. He was confirmed two days later as a participant at the 2023 United Cup as part of the Bulgarian team. 2023, inaugural United Cup, 400th win and return to the top 15 Dimitrov reached the third round at the 2023 Australian Open defeating Aslan Karatsev and Laszlo Jair before losing in straight sets to eventual champion Novak Djokovic, who went on to win his 10th Australian Open and 22nd Grand Slam. At the Rotterdam Open he defeated again Karatsev in 59 minutes to reach the second round, next he defeated world number 10 and 5th seed Hubert Herkax in straight sets to reach the quarterfinals. He reached his 43rd career semi-final defeating Alex de Menor in three sets and first since 2018 at this tournament, as a result, he returned to the top 25 in the rankings. He lost to world number 11 and 6 seed Daniil Medvedev in straight sets. At the 2023 BNP Paribas Open in Indian Wells, he lost in the second round, having received a bye to Jason Kubler after retirement with a right knee injury in the third set. In Miami, he won his second round match against qualifier Jan Leonard Struff. In Monte Carlo, he won in the first round over Ben Shelton, before losing to Yuri Lehaka. As a result, he dropped outside of the top 30 on April 17, 2023 in the rankings being unable to defend his semi-final points from the previous year. In Madrid he defeated Gregoire Barrer in the second round before losing to top seed Carlos Alcaraz. In Rome he defeated Stan Wawrinka in the second round before also losing to the top seed, world number one Novak Djokovic. In Geneva he won his first two rounds matches against Roberto Carbals Baena and Christopher O'Connell to reach the semi-finals. He reached his first final since 2018 defeating second seed and top 10 player Taylor Fritz, before losing in the final to Nicholas Jerry. Dimitrov reached the fourth round at the 2023 French Open for the second time at this major defeating qualifier to Mafi Skatov. Emile Rusuvuri and Daniel Altmaier without losing a set, he lost to 22nd seed Alexander Zverevin. Straight sets. He qualified for the main draw at the 2023 Queen's Club Championships and reached the quarterfinals also without dropping a set, defeating eight seed Francisco Sorrendolo. He lost to top seed and world number two Carlos Alcaraz in straight sets. His good form continued at the 2023 Wimbledon Championships, reaching the fourth round without losing a set, defeating top 10 player Francis Tiafo before losing to world number six Holger Rune. He returned to the top 20 on July 24, 2023. In the beginning of the North American summer swing, seeded fifth, he reached the semifinals at the 2023 City Open in Washington D.C. after a walkover from Hugo Humbert before losing to eventual champion Dan Evans. At the U.S. Open he reached the second round, defeating Alex Malkin after coming from a two-sets-to-love-down deficit for the first time in his career, saving three match balls in five sets with three tiebreaks, in a match lasting close to four hours and 40 minutes, the longest of the day. Next he reached the third round defeating Andy Murray before losing to Alexander Zverev, his third straight loss to the German in the season. He recorded his 400th career win at the 2023 Chengdu Open defeating Juan Pablo Varillas becoming the first man born in the 1990 or later to hit that milestone and the 10th active men's player. He reached the semifinals defeating Christopher O'Connell. He lost to Alexander Zverev for a seventh consecutive time, fourth straight season loss, in straight sets. In the next tournament, the China Open of the Asian Swing, he came back from a 2-6-1-5 deficit for a second time in the season and won his first round match against wildcard Mackenzie McDonald. Next, he defeated third seed Holger Rune for his fourth top 10 win, the most since the 2017 season, to reach the quarterfinals of this tournament for the fourth time in eight appearances. At the 2023 Rolex Shanghai Masters he reached the fourth round defeating 13th seed Karen Kachanov. Next he defeated world number two and top seed Carlos Alcaraz to reach the quarterfinals of a Masters 1000 for the first time in the season and only the second time at this Masters. He defeated Nicholas Jerry and reached his first Masters semifinal since the 2022 Monte Carlo Masters. He lost to sixth seed Andre Rublev. He continued his good form on the European indoor hard courts in Vienna and defeated Lorenzo Musetti in straight sets in the first round but lost to top seed Daniil Medvedev in the second in three sets. 
At the next Masters in Paris he reached again the round of 16 defeating world number 3 Daniil Medvedev this time, winning at the seventh match point, his third top 5 win within a month and sixth top 10 of the season, tied together with Alex de Menor. Next he defeated Alexander Bublik in straight sets to reach back-to-back -back quarterfinals at a Masters level. He reached his second, consecutive Masters semifinal for the season defeating 11th seed Hubert Hercax for his 40th win. Next he defeated 7th seed Stefanos Tsitsipas and reached his first Masters final since 2017, where he lost to Novak Djokovic. As a result he returned to the top 15 in the rankings at world number 14 on November 6, 2023. 2024, Brisbane title and most match wins starting the season at the 2024 Brisbane International, he reached his third final in Brisbane and 18th in his career overall defeating Andy Murray, Daniel Altmaier, wildcard Rinki Hijikata and Jordan Thompson, he defeated top seed Holger Rune in the final to win his ninth title and first since 2017. With the title win, he recorded more match wins, 23, than any other player at this tournament. As a result he moved to number 13 in the singles rankings on January 8, 2024, his highest since 2018. At the 2024 Australian Open where he made his record 52nd consecutive major appearance, he reached the second round with a win over Martin Fuxovics, and then won over Kokonakis in the second round, but lost in the third round to Nuno Borges. He reached his second final of the season in Marseille defeating Sebastian Corda, Arthur Rinderneck and Karen Kachanov, in the final he lost to fourth seed Hugo Humbert. He reached back-to-back semifinals at the 2024 ABN Amaro Open in Rotterdam defeating Lorenzo Sonigo, again Martin Fuxovics and Alexander Shevchenko. He lost in the semifinals to Alex de Menor, ending the week with the most ATP singles wins, at 13, since the beginning of the season. At the 2024 BNP Paribas Open, he reached the fourth round defeating two Frenchmen Alexander Muller and 21st seed Adrian Manorino. As a result he returned to his highest ranking of world number 12 on March 18, 2024 for the first time since October 29, 2018 when he was ranked at number 10, seeded 11th at the 2024 Miami Open, he reached the fourth round defeating Alejandro Tabilo in three sets and Yannick Hanfman in a 46 minutes match, conceding one game. National representation Davis Cup Dimitrov made his Davis Cup debut for Bulgaria in 2008 as a 16-year-old. Playing in front of a home crowd in Plovdiv, the teenage Dimitrov compiled an undefeated record in both singles and doubles to promote his country into the second division of the Europe-slash-Africa zone. A 17-year-old Dimitrov returned to the Bulgarian Davis Cup team for the first round of the Davis Cup Europe-slash-Africa zone in 2009. Dimitrov was victorious in both his singles rubbers which led to a narrow 3-2 victory over Hungary. He would then take a few breaks from Davis Cup which would result in Bulgaria being relegated back to the lowest division of Davis Cup. Dimitrov would return to Davis Cup competition in 2012 as a top 100 player. The Bulgarians breezed through the round-robin tournament held in their home city of Sofia and would once again be promoted to the second division of the Europe-slash-Africa zone. Dimitrov and the Bulgarian Davis Cup team have been unable to advance past the first round since being promoted but have been victorious in their two relegation ties. Olympics Dimitrov represented Bulgaria at his maiden Olympics in 2012 London. He competed in the singles competition and advanced past the first round with a straight sets victory over Poland's Lukasz Kubot. He was then beaten by France's 12th seed Gillis Simon. Dimitrov made his second Olympic appearance in 2016 Rio where he was beaten in the first round of the singles competition by Croatian Marin Cilic. Dimitrov skipped the 2020 Tokyo Olympics and registered to play at the ATP 250 tournament in Atlanta instead but later withdrew, as he did not meet the minimal qualifications requirements due to non-representation in the Davis Cup. Coaching as a child, Dimitrov was coached by his father, Dimitar, at Tennis Club Haskovo. As his talent became more apparent he started to receive coaching from abroad, most notably from Spaniard Pato Alvarez, who has also coached Britain's Andy Murray. Alvarez has reportedly said that Dimitrov is the best 17-year-old he has coached.
Around the time of his success at the 2009 ABN Amaro in Rotterdam, Dimitrov formally began a coaching relationship with Peter Lundgren, former coach of world number no. ones Murat Safin and Roger Federer. Lundgren has also been quick to praise Dimitrov, saying that he is better than Federer was at his age. In June 2010, Dimitrov ended his coaching relationship with Lundgren and was subsequently coached by Australian pro Peter McNamara. Dimitrov and McNamara have ended their coaching relationship at the end of the 2011 season. In 2012, Dimitrov was coached by Patrick Muradoglu in an attempt to revive his fortunes. On November 26, 2012, Dimitrov left the Patrick Muradoglu Academy and joined the Good to Great Tennis Academy in Sweden, which is run by ex-touring pros Magnus Norman, Nicholas Kolti, and Michael Tilström. On October 7, 2013, Dimitrov announced on his Facebook page that he has hired Roger Rashid, former coach of Gail Monfils, Joe Wilefred Sanga and Leighton Hewitt, to be his new coach, on July 7. 2015 Dimitrov announced via Twitter that he would be parting ways with coach Roger Rashid. On September 25, 2015, Dimitrov announced he had hired Juan Martín del Potro's former coach Franco Davin, but they parted ways in the first half of 2016. Since June 2016 Dimitrov has been coached by Daniel Valverdu, a former coach of Andy Murray, during which tenure Murray won two Grand Slam titles. Dimitrov has credited Valverdu with his upturn in form during the 2017 season and has mentioned several times during interviews and during his thank you speech, following his win of the 2017 ATP Finals, that he is very thankful for his success to his coaching team and particularly Valverdu. Dimitrov also stated numerous times through the season that Valverdu changed his mentality towards the game and is the main factor for the way he plays against top 10 players. On May 7, 2019, Dimitrov declared that he and Valverdu had parted ways following a string of unsuccessful tournament participations. Since January 3, 2021, Dimitrov was coached by Dante Battini. Dante Battini replaced the German coach Christian Groh, with whom Dimitrov worked during 2020. The most serious successes of the new coach are linked to Japanese Kei Nishikori, who managed to climb to number four in the world rankings under his guidance. He split with Battini in September 2022. In October 2022, after parting ways with Warinka, Valverdu agreed to coach Dimitrov again till the end of the 2022 season which ended in November 2022. On December 1, 2022, it was confirmed he will work with Dimitrov also in 2023. Playing style Dimitrov employs an all-round style of playing, and is said to have one of the most unusual play styles on the tour. His flexibility and the fact that he's comfortable on all parts of the court is the main reason why many people said during his early years that he was one of the most talented up-and-coming players. Dimitrov is known for his hustle, athleticism, fluid style of play and exceptional shot-making. Dimitrov employs an eastern to semi-western grip on his forehand, somewhat similar to that of Roger Federer. When hitting, unlike most players, he uses his elbow, wrist, and arm to generate power instead of his body. His forehand is known to be very heavy, powerful and accurate and is his primary weapon. He uses it to generate sudden pace in baseline rallies, often catching his opponents off guard. Dimitrov employs a conventional single-handed backhand. His backhand is one of the most versatile in the game due to his ability to hit it with topspin, flat, and his backhand slice, which John McEnroe has said is the best slice in the game. He also has a slightly unusual follow-through and finish on his backhand, often straightening out his hand and extending it all the way across his waist, which some have said is a weakness due to the time taken to recover by recoiling his arm. Dimitrov usually uses his backhand as a rally stroke to build up points rather than hit immediate winners, although he is known to be able to generate significant pace on his backhand when returning a weak shot from his opponent or when neutralizing a fast-paced shot. He has displayed this ability more than 50 times alone in his semi-final against Rafael Nadal on the Australian Open 2017. Dimitrov has a solid fast serve, often reaching 210 km per hour, 130 miles per hour, up to 220 km per hour, 140 miles per hour. His first serve has been known to be pivotal, often producing aces on important points. 
Dimitrov employs more topspin on his second serve, making it slower but more consistent. In 2017 however he had a big problem with double faults as he made 254 of them, around 40 more than 2016, although he made his best season so far. One aspect of Dimitrov's game that has been widely praised is his variety and flexibility. He is comfortable playing on all areas of the court, having solid ground strokes and exceptional touch at the net. He also employs aggressive drop shots to catch opponents off guard and is even known to frequently use fakes, especially on the forehand side, to fake drop shots instead of fast ground strokes, wrong-footing opponents. His speed and athleticism are also exceptional, as is famous for using slide, sometimes even to the point of splitting, to reach balls. He also occasionally dives to reach balls, one of the most famous occasions being his second round match at the Monte Carlo Rolex Masters against Yanko Tipsarevich, in which he dove to hit a drop shot, winning him the point. His all-round play has had many commentators and past players call him classy and stylish. Dimitrov is also noted as one of the only players on the tour who can consistently produce trick shots, alongside Gail Monfils, Dustin Brown, Nick Kyrgios and Roger Federer. He has been known to hit a variety of trick shots and unorthodox shots, such as the tweener. Sometimes, he does it for entertainment purposes, eventually losing the point. Some of his most famous trick shots include his behind-the-back drop shot against Viktor Troicki in the Swiss Indoors 2012 and his successive between-the-leg shots off Jack Sox returns in the Stockholm Open 2014. Both shots were considered among the best trick shots ever, with the former considered the shot of the year in 2012. Early in his career, Dimitrov was compared to Roger Federer due to their similarity in play style and actions, notably his forehand, backhand and serve, earning him the nickname Baby Fed. Over the years he has attempted to shed this title and has had people appreciate his own style. Dimitrov has won one of his eight meetings with Federer at the U.S. Open 2019. Equipment as of 2013, Dimitrov uses a customized Wilson midsize 93 square inches prototype racket provided by the Wilson Pro Room team, as disclosed by Pro Tour stringers such as the Priority One team members. Cosmetic on it is the Pro Staff 95 BLX, it is weighted about 12. strung with a 16 by 19 string pattern. In 2014, he switched to 18 by 17 string pattern. From 2015 and on, he switched to a 97 square inches head size, similar to Federer's frame but with an 18 by 17 pattern. In 2016, he worked with Wilson Pro Room Team to come up with the model now known as the Pro Staff 97S with a thinner beam width of 19.5 mm. From the start of his adult career in 2010, he was sponsored sponsored by Nike wearing the brand apparel and the Nike Air Zoom Vapor Pro. He previously wore the Air Zoom Vapor X which was also Federer's shoe of choice until 2021. From the 2023 French Open onwards, Dimitrov became an ambassador for Lacoste.